Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna be uh, showing you just a simple um, add-ons, basically that uh, we can use to work with a color ramp in cycles. So this is the this is the add-on. It was created by Landrum. You can you can have a look and follow the tutorial on how to install the add-on. And uh, but uh, this add-on is really simple to use. Uh, there is actually this is the first. Uh, version there is another one down below where he actually um, allows you so that you can you can pick a color or gradient based on a stroke a grease pencil stroke so this is really cool this is something that I've been trying to do so yeah let's have a look at it so switch to cycles render and compositing and here we let's try just on a on a plane it's gonna be super basic. Save it as let's just call it Landrum. Okay, Landrum color ramp. Or or just call it color ramp sampling. And create a new material. By default we get diffuse. I'm gonna change it to emission. And we're gonna play around with the texture. So we need some kind of maybe texture coordinate and color ramp so the idea is to use some kind of texture or we can also import um, we can import color ramp from um, some kind of presets that you can download online so let me try to find one so this is one of a uh, such website where you can download a lot of uh, color ramp gradient Let's try one of these, for example. This one is quite interesting. And you can download the SVG. Download link, download link file, save it on the desktop. And I'll show you how this thing works. Um, so if I select a color ramp, the add-on should actually allow you to, to load uh, the gradient. Let's see if I'm actually, maybe I didn't, I need to reinstall it. Color ramp picker, okay. This one is the one by Farken Farken, Michelle Anders. This one is actually quite interesting. And uh, I can pick a color based on image. This one is the one from Lex Karlovich, which is uh, the one we have right here. That you can install they both are pretty good let me try actually this one i think this is the latest so i'll turn that on now if i'm selecting a color ramp we have these options import svg import ggr or css i'll select svg and i'm gonna select one of these i think this is the one that i just picked so this one is now being imported to Blender. I'm gonna duplicate that and then I'm gonna import another one. So that's a different color. Gonna import another one. So that's really cool, right? Because now if we are using something like noise, vector noise, and then plug this into, plug the vector into this guy, we can quickly and easily get different results. There you go, one, two, and three. Simply by, you, you get like a huge library where you can quickly generate something like this pretty easily. And yeah, that's basically uh, what I wanna sh I'm gonna show you. Uh, but there is one more thing that maybe, let's try using a uh, Van Gogh painting for example let's pick a color and then we are going to use a uh, grease pencil to pick the color let's try which one you like okay this one is this by Van Gogh is that the real thing um, let's try the sunflower so I'm gonna select this and put it there oh okay 
apparently drag and drop doesn't work with blender put it on the desktop first and then drop it now uh, let's create another color ramp and I'm just gonna create a like a stroke something like that and you can see here we have a new option scan gradient to active color ramp and then we have these options how many colors we want to sample you can also tick this on if you want to have like more than 32 color stops um, but for now just keep it simple click OK now if you can see we have the color ramp based on Van Gogh painting it's very cool right um, yeah so that's basically the idea there is one more thing yeah by default um, the color ramp only take 32 colors maximum but if you notice this guy like I said have another options where I can turn it on and have like maybe like a hundred color so now you can see we have this node group inside it we have this well pretty complex <laughs> node group but this guy basically if we plug in the noise there there's a color stop and influence and then you can see here it's quite interesting and complex so it's basically giving you 100 stops of color ramp it's very very interesting uh, in fact if you have something like Suzanne right and then you you instead of a uh, let's say you give it a that material and then you if you are using instead of a generated and noise texture you can use the geometry and then maybe use something like pointiness as a vector now it's started to get more interesting you have this kind of a result that's resembling like a painting i guess but it's, i mean it's very basic but Pointiness is really cool for that. And let's try pointiness on different color. And check the result. You can easily mix and match things. So this guy doesn't give you much. Interesting. How about this? Ah, there you go. This one's a little bit better. But this works really well. Um, this guy. Pointiness, a little bit better. Maybe you can use multiplier, but uh, that's the most interesting one because we have 100 stops of color ramp, and you have this uh, detail that you don't get so easily. The one from Mitchell Anders actually doing similar thing. So color ramp, this one, the one by Farken Farken. That's very very similar. So if that guy turn on, if we have a color ramp, we can simply um, select the nodes and then go to here. And in, I believe we have new option here, color ramp picker. Select that and then simply stroke, draw stroke on the on the painting. That's a also another way you can you can achieve this so let's see the result maybe with a vector we can we can multiply it so modulo or try using different different one to get a different result but anyhow, you got the idea. Um, this is can be really, really powerful. Color RAM is really, really one note that uh, looks like nothing, but it's actually really powerful for a lot, lot of, uh, if you want to create like a complex procedural texture, col color RAM is something that you need to master. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.